lots more clouds today. I was hoping for more sunshine actually, just for some blossom captures. And what's going on today? I guess in terms of drones, you've heard in the US, they're banning a lot of Chinese made drones when it comes to things like government use. But how about this one? This one says, Florida ban on Chinese drones goes into effect despite usage by police. That's kind of interesting. It says, a ban on government use of Chinese manufactured drones went into effect in the Sunshine State on Wednesday, despite complaints from various police departments who use drones from Chinese manufacturer Dajiang Innovations, or DGI. It says, the unmanned aerial system's minimum security requirements Rule from the state's Department of Management Services outlines that the government institutions in Florida may not use drones manufactured by foreign countries of concern. A governmental agency may not purchase, acquire, or otherwise use a drone or any related services or equipment produced by a manufacturer, domiciled in or produced by a manufacturer the governmental agency reasonably believes to be owned or controlled in whole or in part by a foreign country of concern. The rule which went into effect Wednesday said, well that's really broad isn't it? And especially when it comes to things like drones that eliminates a lot of the big options nowadays. For example, DJI and as well other companies such as Altel. And in terms of how much they spent, it was kind of interesting. Imagine having to, I guess, ground all these drones you spent this money on. It says the Tampa Bay Times reports that several major police departments have had to shelve most of their drones due to the new rules. The state of Florida spent about $200 million on DJI drones, according to the Tampa Bay Times. What would they do with $200 million worth of drones that they can't fly anymore? Do they just sell it off? Do they give it away? That's something to think about, I guess, with all these regulations and stuff that are so different everywhere around the world. You gotta think about that. It's one thing to have the best camera, the best flight time and so forth, but if you can't fly it, then what's the point? And there were more news about drone companies creating counter drone products. And this one's probably, I guess, one of the most familiar ones, like a drone gun. How about this one? This one says, Drone Shield releases drone gun MK4. So what is the big deal about this product compared to the other ones? I guess it's more portable. Like they say here, it's what? A portable pistol shaped drone jammer weighing 3.2 kilograms. And it says drone gun MK4 is designed as an addition to the drone gun product line rather than replacing the highly successful long range drone gun tactical and ultra lightweight drone gun MK3, providing an optimal balance between size and capability. Drone Gun MK4 can also be used in combination with other Drone Shield products including the RF Patrol Body Worn Detection Device and the Drone Sentry Stationary Multi-Sensor Detection System. There's still a lot of, I guess, legality with this stuff too because it's kind of interesting with the pointers in the bottom. It says, Drone Gun MK4 has not been authorized as required by the Federal Communications Commission. This device does not and may not be offered for sale or lease or sold or lease in the United States other than the United States government and its agencies until such authorization is obtained. So you can't exactly buy this as a regular person for example, then again, do you want regular people to be using stuff like this or would you imagine everyone having something like this in the future?
See you guys later.